In this video, I'm going to show you how I manually go in and order these products from AliExpress. Now, it is pretty self-explanatory. You just go into AliExpress and order them, but I just wanted to walk you through the process so you see what I do in case you're, you're wondering. So we have our orders here on our order tracker, and we can tell that this is all part of the same order because they're all going to the same person. And let's pretend that I went into Stripe and I verified that the payments were successful, so we're good to go. It's now time to go to AliExpress and order the products for our customer here. So let's go to AliExpress. Now we come up to our wish list. So this is why we save everything in a wish list for our particular funnel, so that way we can easily come back to our products so we can order them. So we got our necklace here, and we ordered three of those. So I was doing silver, one, two, three, whoops, three, add to cart, continue shopping. And we had these cat paw earrings, two of those. So we'll go with silver plated, two, add to cart, continue shopping. And then we had one pair of fancy cat earrings. Let me pop that up. And we're gonna go with antique silver plated, add to cart, view shopping cart. So we got our products in here. Make sure the quantities still match like you think they should. Now let's go ahead and select e-packet. Okay. Come on down, e-packet. Okay. Do it again, e-packet. Okay. And now we have our total cart cost. And as you see, we're saving money. We're only paying $2.73 to ship all six products uh, when they would charge you $2.73 to ship only one. So we're saving money. And it says right here we save $5.46 uh, because choosing the sh same shipping service for all products. So there you go. So buy all. And then we have to enter the correct address. So hit edit up here. And. And it's a straight copy and paste, or if you want to type it, or I actually have two screens, which I usually uh, just have one screen open and you know, copy and paste right over. So it's obviously, this is self-explanatory. Chester, well, I know where I live, but Virginia, Chester, 23831. Right here on the mobile phone number, you want to insert your own phone number or not the client's phone number, basically, because do you really want China to call your customer? Probably not. So you put your own business's phone number right here. If you don't have a business phone number, you can get a free number from Google. It's like Google Voice, I believe. Uh, just search for a free Google phone number and you'll find one and it'll forward to whatever phone you want. So save and ship to this address. So that's good. I also insert a message right here for the, the seller, so for the manufacturer. So I say, please do not include an invoice or promotional material. Thank you. So this just lets the manufacturer know not to ship the product with an invoice or promotional material because if they, they send them an invoice and they see that we only paid $9.60 to get them their products and they spent 30 or 40 bucks. They're going to be like, well, what the heck? Uh, so we don't want to include an invoice. And again, I mean, that's how businesses make money. When you go to Walmart, they're making, they have a markup on their products. So that's how you make your money. And I just give it another look over real quick, make sure my messages are good, make sure my quantities are right, make sure I have e-packet all the way down. And then we can select our payment method. So we can pay with card or other payment method. And then it's just confirm and pay, and you go through the checkout process. And that's really all there is to it. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. It took me like four minutes, and I talked through the whole process. So you're not going to talk through it. You'll probably streamline it down to maybe 90 seconds per order. And you can get a VA to do it or a local person to a stay-at-home mom or somebody that needs a couple hours of work a day to go in here and submit orders to AliExpress. So it's a pretty simple process. Of course, over here, I'd come in here and say, uh, process by and you know Nathan when uh, 11 May 2017 so I copy and paste that all the way down I'll unbold it real quick 
boom. So now I know this order has been processed out the door and I don't have to worry about it anymore and I'll go on to the next one. So I hope that clarifies things. If you had any questions about how to manually submit an order to AliExpress, that's just the process that I go through.